Hey guys, welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, I'll show you how to set up an email alias with your Google Workspace account. I'll show you how to reply from the email alias as well as organize your inbox so it's easy to identify the email that's coming in. I'll also show you how to create groups and reply from it. So to start, go to your Google Workspace admin account by going to admin.google.com. And on the left side, you wanna click directory and then select users. Select the users that you want to create the alias. We're going to pick John Smith. And then over here, you'll see add alternate emails. This is where we're going to create our email alias. Let's create support at macguys.ca. When creating an email alias, you have an option to create up to 30 email alias. Once you're done adding your email alias, click save. This should take effect right away. But if you want to be sure, I'd say wait about a couple of minutes and then let's test it. We're going to log into John Smith's email account, then test it by sending an email from my personal email account. So I have my softbox01 at gmail.com account here. I'm going to compose an email and send an email to support at macguides.ca. Going back to my John Smith email, we can see the email here, and we can see that it works. The default email address to reply from on this email is John Smith's. To set up the reply from the alias, click the cogwheel, and then click see all settings. Select the accounts tab, then select add another email address. From here, change the name, and then add the email alias here. Leave treat as alias check, and then click the next step. If you're always going to use support for this email address, you can make it a default. And under when replying to a message, you want to select reply from the same address the message was sent to. Let's test this out if it works. So we're going to pick this email, and then click reply. And then over here, you can click the drop down and we're able to pick support at macguides.ca. Next, let's set up a signature for support and John Smith. Click the cogwheel and then click see all settings. Under general, scroll all the way down. And then under signature, click create new. Name your signature. So we're going to try John first. We're just going to put a simple one. Then click Create New again. And this time we'll create one for support. We'll put a simple one as well. And then under Signature Defaults, John Smith, we're going to select a signature for him. And then to set one for support, Click this drop down and then select support. Choose the signature that you created for it. And then scroll all the way down, click save changes. So now if we compose an email, John has the uh, signature already. And if we pick support, that has the support signature as well. Next, we want to organize all the support email that's coming in. So we're going to select the email for support first. Click the labels icon. And then click create new. We're going to enable this as support. And then click create. If you want to automatically label all the support emails, click the ellipsis over here. And then create filter messages like these. Under two. I'm going to put the email alias and then click create filter. And then we're going to apply a label for it and choose a label and click support. There are different options over here. You can automatically skip the inbox if you want by checking the box. But I only want to label it. I'm going to click create filter. If we do a quick test, I'm going to open my personal email. And then we're going to compose a new email, email support. 
I'm going to put tests over here and then click send. Now if it works, that email should be automatically labeled as support. If I want to see all the emails for support, on the left side, we can choose the label and it will give us all those emails. Now, if you need multiple people to handle an alias, you can accomplish this by setting up groups on your Google Workspace. So go back to Google Workspace admin account. Before we start that, if you're finding value on this and learn something new, please help me out and click the like button. And if this is your second time watching one of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, maybe you should subscribe. Now click the directory and then click groups. I don't have any groups, so you can click create group here or over here. Add your group name and then the group email address. You can add a description if you want. For labels, leave mailing checked since we need it for email. You can also use this groups for Google Drive security access. If you do, check the security box. For group owners, this is optional. You can add one later or add one now. Click Next. Access type is your access permission. You can be very restrictive with your groups, but for our alias purpose, we don't want the whole company to view the conversation. And I don't want them to see the members as well. And then for external people, I want them to be able to email the group but not contact the owner. This setting is also important so we can reply from our group email address. Next, for who can join the group, I only want invited users. I don't want anyone in the organization to be able to join. That's pretty much all the settings I want to do, so click Create Group, and then click Done. Then we want to add members. Hover over your group, then click Add Members. I'm going to add both of my users that I created which should give me a warning because I realized that Joe is actually the group owner, which is already part of the group. We are done setting up the group. Now let's configure our inbox so we can reply from it. Click the cog wheel and then see all settings. Go back to accounts and then click add another email address. This is where we're gonna add the group that we created. For name, put the group name, on my case it's finance, and then the group email address. Leave treat as an alias checked. Then click the next step button for the verification. So click the send verification there. Then we should receive an email for the confirmation. So we can close this, go back to our inbox, and there's our confirmation. Open the email, and then click the confirmation link. Click Confirm, and that's it. We are set. Once you've configured your group email, please make sure you test it. And don't forget to set up a label, a filter, and a signature, just like how I showed it earlier. If you want to learn more about Google Workspace Group and how you can use it as a message board, that's the next video that you should watch. I'll be also showing you an alternative to email alias if you don't quite like the function that I showed over here. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Leave your questions or comments below or simply say thanks.